In the previous video, we saw how to approach learning and learn anything fast, faster and faster. But still one question is not answered. That is, I used to forget what I have learned. What is the solution for this? How I can remember what I have learned for a long time? But before going to the solution of this question, I will request viewer to watch the previous video in this series in case they didn't. You can find the link given in the description below. So let's come back to our question how to retain what we have learned for long time. For this there is another technique by Tim Ferriss that is CAFE. It is also an abbreviation. The C stands for compression. Once you implemented the this for learning anything then this step will come into picture. Just ask yourself how can you compress what you have learned into one page summary. It is actually the integral part of the skill that is the 20% part as a whole. It should be such that if you revise this, you can gain the confidence again. You can feel the power over that skill. I remember learning tenses in English in schools. Our teacher used to share one chart with all students, which used to have one sentence replicated in various other tense forms. And it is considered as the essence of tenses. Once you review that anytime, you will feel that you have revised entire tense part of that language. So work on compressing what you have learned into one page summary. The next step F stands for frequency. Once you prepare the compressed page summary then keeping it in drawer for long time will not gonna help. You need to decide the frequency in which you will revive your one page summary. This will help you to move the information slowly into your long term memory and slowly you can start gaining the confidence and I am sure if you keep on revising what you have learned frequently then time will come soon where there will be no need to revise any further and it will become obvious thing for you. In college days I remember we used to have the scheduled test initially on first chapter then after some day first and second chapter then after some day first second third chapter and this way school used to cover entire book. This is actually a demonstration of frequency where school used to make sure that the student won't forget what they have learned recently. So schedule the alarm in your mobile for reminding you of revising your one page summary. After frequency, the third step will come that is encoding. It is basically an advanced step in learning. It involves anchoring the new thing which you have learned to the old thing which you already know. It can also involve creating charts, images in vivid form as per your nature so that it can help you to make a new information familiar. Since our brain is reluctant to learn new things, hence it is always preferable to learn new things in old terms. One great example of this is structure of atom. Everyone knows how the structure of atom anchored in our brain by our school teacher. Remember that familiar example of celestial arrangement of planet, where nucleus is at the center equivalent to sun in the galaxy and all the electrons are revolving around it like the planet revolved around the sun. In English, the same technique is used in learning vocab or new English word called mnemonics. It is a form of encoding. For example, English word alle. I will remember the meaning of this word like this. When any baby will cry, his or her parents start saying alle 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 don't cry to soothe that child or to stop crying of the child and this way dictionary meaning of alle that is to soothe somebody can be encoded and anchored. I am damn sure those who are watching this video will never forget now the meaning of alle. If you see this technique name is also a type of encoding done to remember it for the long time that is cafe this. So start encoding new learning into something old which you already know and see how you become unstoppable in remembering what you have learned. So revising the main points from this video. First, compress most essential 20% into one page summary. Second, decide the frequency during which you will revise your compressed one page summary. Third, encode the new learning into something which you already know. If you like this video, do subscribe to our channel. Until next video, stay vibrant.